Welcome to episode four of the Retro Beats podcast presented by RetroWareTV.com. I'm your host, Derek Alexander. And for you folks that are new, here's a little rundown of what we do here. This is not a video game chiptune podcast. This is not a video game cover bands podcast or a remix podcast. This is an original video game music podcast. But there is no nostalgia required here. I ain't just playing the stuff you know. I'm not just playing the Mario and Zelda. I'm playing it all. In fact, I'm probably going to be playing stuff you never heard. So no nostalgia required. All that you need to enjoy the Retro Beats podcast is a love of music and love of retro video games. Let's get it started with some Little Nemo. Why are we starting with Little Nemo? Because Little Nemo is exciting, it's upbeat, it's happy, it's energetic. Because right now we are at the very end of uh, November. You're probably going to be hearing this at the uh, at the beginning of December. Finals week is up upon the college students and the high school students. I just want to let you guys know that I've been there, man. Six years of college, four years of high school. I was there, so even though I'm not doing the studying thing anymore, I remember what those finals week were like. So remember, you gotta stay positive. You're almost there. The, the, the winter break is coming. You just got a few more weeks. Finals are coming, so if you gotta study for that last exam, you gotta cram, or if you gotta be writing that big ass paper, put on some retro beats. Uh, this is be your this will be your study music for the next hour. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some Little Nemo and then some Crystalis to get hype, get excited. You're almost double semester. Stay positive. So get hype. Get hype. This is Retro Beats Podcast. Here's the title screen music to Little Nemo and then to The City in the Clouds. Retro Beats!
some wild guns right there for the Super Nintendo. That's the uh, very final boss theme, as a matter of fact. I also use it to open up my uh, review. Great, great song and a really good soundtrack. Um, it's my, it's kind of my attention that Wild Guns commands something like 50 bucks on eBay. And just rem remember, people, Wild Guns is also on Virtual Console. Uh, and like 50, 60 bucks for an old game like that, I don't know. I'd say hold out for a better deal. There's always better deals out there. Before that, we had a request by PK Gamer Omega with some uh, F Zero. That was Big Blue. Matter of fact, in the background here, we have some Earthbound with a please, uh, your name please, which is also requested by PK Gamers. So there you go, man. You got two requests. Boom. Before that, we had level three from uh, Metal Storm and uh, the first overworld theme from a uh, Crystalis. There's a couple of uh, overworld themes in that game, but that's the very first one. Probably the most well-known track. Now, just a reminder to the folks at home, uh, Retro Beats is sticking to 8-bit and 16-bit music only. I've gotten, I got a request for uh, Sonic CD for the Sega CD, and while that game has a really great soundtrack, uh, that uses like traditional instrumentation, and therefore it's not what I want to focus on uh, on this podcast. I think one day though, I may do like a special episode with like like real music soundtracks, but uh, today is not that day. So uh, to make it up to Freezing Inferno, here's a Chemical Plant Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog number two. Uh, so that's kind of your request. I hope that works for you. It's a fucking rad song, so you better be happy, because it's a really good song. Uh, and after that, I have another request to track from Ninja Gaiden 1. Let's hit it.
Guardian Legend right there, one of the uh, many boss themes. And, uh, you know, that game has so many excellent songs. I think we'll definitely hear from uh, that game again a little later on the show. And uh, before that, we had Blaster Master from Sunsoft of the NES. Now, while that game has an amazing soundtrack, its palette is very different from most Sunsoft games. It features a more, I don't know, typical sounds, uh, as opposed to the one, the loud, compressed ones found in, like, Batman and Drain Asilius. It is the least Sunsoft-sounding Sunsoft game. And I heard the remake was lame. That's a shame. And before that, we had a track from uh, Zexies. It's spelled X-E-X-Y-Z. And I've always pronounced it as Zexies. And I don't remember exactly where that track appears in the game, but when I was going through the soundtrack, I was amazed at how simple the song is tonally and then how complex it is uh, melodically. Uh, however, the track we're currently listening to is one of the many mini-boss themes. Uh, it's almost like 8-bit dubstep. Check it out. Okay, before that, we had the incredible title screen music to Iron Sword with Wizards and Warriors 2. Great soundtrack and an above-average game. And starting us off with some Ninja Gaiden 1 Act 4 2, as requested by Only Use My Feet and Sonic the Hedgehog, kind of requested by uh, Freezing Inferno. All right, now it's been like over 20 minutes into this podcast, and we haven't had a single Mega Man song yet. I thought about it, and I, I just can't imagine an episode of the Retro Beats podcast without any Mega Man songs. Just too many great ones. Uh, so we're going to have two. We're going to start with some Mega Man X, and then some Mega Man 7 by request from uh, Chibi UFO.
Kong Country, Fear Factory. I was originally going to use that track, uh, which, by the way, Fear Factory, not the metal band, the Donkey Kong Country song. I was originally going to use that as a, a music bed for this mic break in the background, but then I listened to it, and I realized, like, damn, this is a really solid track. That song appears later in the game, and uh, it's one of the last songs, one of the last worlds you hear, and those levels are really, really hard, so... I'm actually only ever used to hearing just the first little bits because I usually just kind of have to piecemeal my way through the uh, <laughs> through the levels because they're really hard. And I actually sat down and listened to the whole thing, and I went, whoa, that's a really good track, so I've played it in its entirety. Before that, we had Axley uh, by Konami for the Super Nintendo. One of the best shooters for the SNES, and damn, probably one of the best of all time. The song is called uh, Silence, which is not to be confused with an F-Zero track, also called Silence. And I'm pretty sure that it's the fourth level of uh, music where you're in the uh, water-filled cave. Before that, Mars Needs Cheerleaders uh, from uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Uh, before that, a track from Kirby's Dream Land 3. Uh, now, there's really no such thing as a bad Kirby game. Some games are better than others, but for the most part, the whole series is pretty solid. But uh, Kirby's, Kirby's Dream Land 3 for the Super Nintendo is not very good. Uh, so I had never actually heard that song in the game until I uh, ripped the soundtrack and was kind of digging through it. The problem with that game is it just runs kind of slow. It's a beautiful looking game, but like, ugh, it really, really wasn't that good. Again, not bad, but not really that good. That song though was called Iceberg, and uh, now I kind of want to play the game again so I can get that far, because that song really, really took me by surprise. Before that, we had Mega Man 7 Freeze Man, as requested by Chibi UFO, and then some Boomer Quanger from Mega Man X. Okay, now here's the Donkey Kong Country song I was originally going to play before the Fear Factory one dis uh, distracted me. This is the Aquatic Ambience, and this was requested by Kristen Rivera. And after that, I have Demon's Crest, uh, a sunken aqueduct. I know we heard that a couple uh, uh, episodes ago, but song is so brilliant, I'm playing it again. Then we got some more Guardian Legend and some Final Fantasy Mystic Quest and Soul Blazer by request. This, once again, is some more Donkey Kong Country. <laughs>
Soul Blazer by request from, from my friend Steph, who's the biggest dummy. So dumb. This dumb face and stupid nose and face. So dumb. She's she's making me dumb. She's not thinking about her. But she requested that song uh, from Soul Blazer, uh, published by Enix, made by Quintet, which is uh, like kind of sort of the sequel to um, uh, Act Razor in a sense. Uh, you know what? 16 bit gems of the whole thing on it. Go go watch this video. Uh, that song is called South Era. South Era. South South Era. South Era. <laughs> South Era. <laughs> Before that, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest with uh, Dungeon and Waterfall. And it's been stated numerous times that that game uh, is not very good. But screw that. I love I love Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Uh, though that's totally up for debate. However, the soundtrack, everyone can agree, is uh, brilliant. Before that, some more Guardian Legend. We heard from, them, uh, heard from that game a little earlier in the show. Uh, this is a, a different track. Uh, the second overworld theme there's a number of that uh, appear throughout the game that's the second one you hear before that that brilliant sock uh, sunken aqueduct song from demon's crest love that song before that donkey kong country the uh, aquatic ambience that was also by request and uh we're about to close out the show here folks with one last request um something i'm gonna start doing now is at the retrowartv.com forums when i'm getting uh down to um putting the show together i need to uh i'm gonna start posting threads in the uh, forum there saying request the request lines are open and I'll do my best to uh, uh, t- take your requests as it stands right now I'm having I haven't quite hatched out all all the uh, all the uh, all the problems I'm having uh, putting this show together and I'm having trouble finding a good way to rip uh, Genesis games and so that's why there haven't been a whole lot of Genesis games and I'm hoping to uh, have that uh, fixed in the future because I did get a lot of requests for Genesis stuff and uh, I have, so far have not been able to uh, fulfill those um, and also, just because you request doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be uh, doing it. So, you know, don't get your hopes up. But anyway, uh, our last song is, of course, going to be an ending thing, like it always is. And it comes as a request from uh, Jake. Uh, I forget what his internet handle is, but this time he is Jake. So thank you, Jake. Um, he requested uh, the ending theme to Star Tropics, one of my favorite games and uh, one, one of my most satisfying endings in an NES game. I hope this helped you with your studying. I hope that you are now an hour closer to finishing your big project or that you, you know, learned an hour's worth of good vocabulary or whatever it is you're studying, I hope this helped. Uh, Remember, finals week, you're not alone. There's a lot of people out there studying right now. And uh, I was always thinking, how am I going to get through this week? How am I going to get through studying or writing this? Or how am I going to get through this test? You know what? I somehow always did. So hang in there. Stay at it. Don't lose hope. I'm Derek Alexander. This has been the Retro Beats Podcast, Episode 4, and I'll see you later.